There's a new brewery in the crossroads and the owners are confident that you'll like what they pour in your glass and they're certain you'll enjoy what they pile on your plate. Brad Stevens has this week's Friday Night Flights. What have you done? To prove their point they're serious about food, the owners of City Barrel Brewery rolled out shrimp tacos, an espresso bacon burger, a plate of mussels, and a fried chicken banh mi sandwich. And do not forget the fries. These are some of the best french fries in the city. Oh my god, our fries are really? so okay. good. While I'm no foodie, I have porked down enough fries in my life to make me a self-proclaimed expert. That is yeah. delicious. Yeah. That is good. It's not yeah. usually what you expect yeah. to find at a brewery, but City Barrel wants to wow you with their food. Their executive chef comes from the Kaufman Center for Performing Arts. So he comes from a background of fine dining. Bon appetit, but what about their beer? Cheers. 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 These three friends and business partners cooked up the idea of opening a brewery two years ago. Joe Giamanco says they instantly fell in love with the old brick building at 17th and Holmes. We walked in and we were like, yes, we can this do is this. It. We yeah. found it. Yeah. We really wanted this to be like a cerebral yeah. experience where you're you're smelling, you can see the food being made, you can see the how the beer is made, and then you tie it together, the, the aromas, the textures, the, the tastes. As for their beer, they like to walk on the wild side. So many people walk in here and they're like, ugh, I hate IPAs. Then they have Rad AF or our day drinker, and they're like, oh my god, boom, I like IPAs now. So City Barrel focuses on what they call aged sour beers, crazy IPAs, and wild fermentation beers. They start me off with a sour called Classy. It's gonna get kinda crazy, it's gonna get a little all over the place, and your mouth's gonna be like, I'm not sure how I feel about this. The first taste is tart. But then the raspberries, blueberries, and cranberries come in. You're right, it's very juicy. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, I can really taste all the berries. Next up, their just released beer called Dad Jokes. Imperial Hazy IPA. So as we were talking a little bit earlier. So much different. Yes, I can yes. really taste the hops. Yeah. Um, and it's, there's a real citrus mm -hmm, flavor mm -hmm, to it. Exactly. With a name like Dad Jokes, I knew I wouldn't escape without hearing one. Did you hear about the how the Scarecrow won an award? No. He won it because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. That is awful. But then afterwards, you drink the beer and it makes the joke go away. Yeah. <laughs> Cleanse the palate. Exactly. <laughs> Brad Stevens, KCTV 5 News. <laughs> and next week, Friday Night Flights will go north of the river to check out the second oldest brewery in KC, Big Rip Brewery.